Tunaenda kumkaribisha Roho Mtakatifu. In fact, Jerry told me he already laid hands and released the prophetic over you. Yeah, Jerry anaambia kwamba ashatuwekelea mkono na akatilia neno la kinabii kwetu. Because God knew what he was planning. Maana Mungu alijua chenye amelikuwa anapanga. I want to take you to 1 Corinthians 14 verse 31. wa kwanza 14 mstari wa kwanza. It says for you can all prophesy one by one. Kwa maana ndoto mwaweza tambiri mmoja kwa mwingine. That all may learn and all may be encouraged. Ili wote wasome na wote watiwe moyo. It takes exercise and practice to grow in accuracy. Inachukua kufanya mazoezi ili kuwa accurate. My spiritual father uh, accurate prophet tells of all the mistakes he's made. Aya baba yake wa kiroho ambaye ni mfasaha sana kwa nabii waeleza yale makosa yote aliyefanya. I could tell you about mistakes I've made. Na naweza kutuambia ile makosa hata yeye amefanya. If you're trying to be perfect, you will never prophesy. Kama unataka kuwa fasaha hautawahi tabiri. But it says in verse 31 that all may learn. Lakini nasema sana dalina moja ili wote wasome. In the Old Testament there was the school of the prophets. Katika angalio la kale kulikuwa na shule ya manabii. Because we need to learn how to hear God's voice. Lakini zaidi kusoma njenzi ya kusikia sauti ya Mungu. I want to remind you that prophecy comes in three steps. Nataka nikukumbusha kwamba unabii huja kwa viwango hatua tatu. Revelation, ufunuo, interpretation, au tafsiri application na kupeana you may get the revelation clear unaweza pata ufunuo sawa sawa kabisa but have the wrong interpretation lakini ukua na tafsiri usiyofaa you may have the revelation and the interpretation but the wrong application unaweza kuwa na ufunuo na na tafsiri na ukose ule kuwakilisha tema and then you have to see okay how much of this is me talking and god talking na pia uone ni kiasi gani unanena na mungu ananena but as we grow in intimacy with jesus lakini tukua katika uhusiano na yesu we can accurately echo his voice tunaweza kuofasa kusikia sauti yake so as you're learning to hear god's voice rather than saying thus saith the lord ni vizuri tukuze kusikia sauti ya bwana kule kusema hivi asema bwana wa majeshi say hey i thought this vision and i feel like god wants to encourage you useme niona maono haya na nahisi kwamba mungu anataka kutia moyo and then you share what you feel like god said na unashiriki kile ambacho unasikia kama ndicho roho mtakatifu anasema and you ask does that mean anything to you it takes lots of humility but as you exercise hearing god's voice you will grow in the prophetic lakini unapojifunza kusikia sauti ya mungu utakuwa katika unabii on the way here i was praying saying god speed up this band we need to be at nicholas's Akuja njiani alikuwa anambia Mungu harakisha ili gari takatoa kanisani. I felt like God spoke to me and told me son if you go to the hotel and come back you will be back by 7. Akamwambia kwamba nikirudi kwa hoteli na ukuje tena itafika hapa saa 1. So rather than saying thus saith the Lord Bana kusema hivi asema ule wa Bwana. I said guys I feel like God has given me faith to go and come back. Akatuambia na hisi Mungu ananipatia imani niende na nirudi. So we're in the van on the way here. Tulikuwa katika gari tukija mahala hapa. I said God speed up this van. Akaambia Mungu hakikisha ili gari. Immediately I look at the car in front of me. Anaenda kakalenga gari iliyokuwa mbele yake. And the license plate says 6 58. Na ile na ile sasa inasema saa 12:58. I thought like God said you will be there at 6:58. Na kasema kwa Mungu alitasema atakuwa na 6:58. I didn't want to tell anybody. Hakutaka kuambia hiyo utapani kwa gari. So that's a strong word. Maana hiyo ni neno ambayo ni nzito. But we arrived. Lakini wamefika. I said, "Hey, what time is it?" Na kauliza hii ni saa ngapi? As we were pulling up 
6:56 Alipokuwa anavuta kutoka kwa ngali saa 10:56 na It's fun to grow in hearing God's voice. So wave at me if you want to grow in this. Okay, my sister right there. Wave at me. Yeah, come up here. You're going to be encouraged. And my team will exercise and, and show you. Okay, stand right here, sister. Okay, what is your name? Dorcas. Dorcas. That's from the book of Acts. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Is yeah. that the girl who was raised from the dead? Yes, Dorcas. Wow, that's awesome. Mm. Okay, so the Bible says that all may learn, that all may prophesy. Everybody say, that means me. But then we are saying, I'm me. me. Okay, now I want to say, you are in a safe place. You don't have to be perfect. But I want you to be brave. I want you to be courageous. I want you to grow. And this is how you grow. So here's the, the exercise. Now remember, prophecy is always encouraging. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 14:3 that he who prophesies speaks edification, exhortation, and comfort to men. So no negative words. We cannot go find a problem looking in the mirror. I'm not saying that God will never bring a corrective word to a prophet. But in Corinthians 14, for all believers, it says, keep it encouraging. So when you look at Dorcas, I want you to ask God for the gold. The gift inside of this young lady. Amen. Amen. Okay. So everybody repeat after me. After Nicholas, everybody, oh, whatever language, everybody say Jesus. Say my Jesus. I break agreement. I na With all fear. Na kila uoga. With all pride, na kila kiburi, with all perfectionism, na kila utaratibu, I want to be brave. Na chaka kwa Perfect love casts out fear. Upendo wa kweli uondoe uoga. Give me God's love for Dorcas. Nipe upendo wa Mungu kwa Dorcasi. And love enables you to see and hear. Na upendo na kuwezesha kuona. So I want you to ask God for one word for Dorcas. And then you explain it in a paragraph. I will demonstrate. God, what is one word for my sister? And immediately I heard the word excellent. That she does a very good job with her responsibilities. And she is a good model and example for others. You do a great job with what you're trusted with. Does that make sense? Does that encourage you? Is that true? Awesome. Okay, so very simple. Like the sun. 
So I want you to ask God for one word for Dorcas. Tak on mi piszcie mówił na moje pójść do kas. And be brave. No on ta sił. No chickens in the town. A kuna kuna i roja kuku. We are the eagles, man. Sisi ni mwewe. Hallelujah. Okay, so wait a minute if you have one word for Dorcas. I am Russian kuna kama pana na moja pomus do kas. Vila kaonyesha. Nisikie na mungu anakata nyamu ya wako moja. I know one of these young ladies has uh-huh. one. What is it? Yes. Yeah, because you hear God. What word do you have? Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, so say so here's how you do it. You say, I see the word beautiful. And now talk about her beauty. Tell her. Someone be who's getting up beautiful. And let us talk it out for you. Now this is a fun one. I want you to ask God what, what animal 
James is light. Nataka muulize Mungu ni mnyama gani ambaye James anaweza panana. The Bible says that the righteous are as bold as a lion. Maana kwa nasema kwamba watakatifu wenye haki wana ujasiri kama simba. You will mount up on wings like eagles. Na watapaa juu kama mwewe. And God is so relational. Na Mungu ni wa uhusiano sana. It's not just one way relationships. Sio wa njia uhusiano wa njia moja. So just say Papa, what animal is this guy like? Ulize Mungu je, ni mnyama gani anaweza kufanana ama describe James? And so when I looked at you James, I saw a young lion. Na nilipomtazama James, ameona simba mchanga. With sharp claws. Habari kwa na na kucha ambazo ni 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 sharp. I said God what are the sharp claws? Akamwambia hizi kucha ambazo ni sharp za nini? And I believe that you are very prophetic. Na naamini kwamba wewe uko na unabii ndani yako. It's just as I meet a boy who called to do the same. Na vile kafika na anasikia sauti ya Mungu umeitwa vile vile kufanya hivyo. There's a ministry calling on your life. There's a ministry calling on your life. Kuna mwito wa hukuma ndani yako. And the prophetic is a big part of that. Na hukuma minister wa nabii ni sehemu kubwa katika mwito wako. So it was a young lion so it's time to grow. Kwa kama simba mchanga ni wakati wa kukua. Practice your hearing. Anza kujaribu kufanya mazoezi ya kusikia. Okay, wave if you have an animal. Kama uko na mnyama kama uko na mnyama Mungu ameweka ndani yako anaweza kueleza James nyosha mkono wako. What do you have bro? Chita. Oh wow. Mm. Now explain. Ah. He is able to cry trees or higher eyes wow. until for his vision. Wow. So that's strength, dude. Mm. Powerful. Wow. Who else has an animal? Another one? Shane. Shane? Hey, I saw a rhino and I heard God saying that you're not afraid of a fight and that you can go head to head with the enemy. Ameona kifaru. Na kwa una uwezo wa kupigana, hauwezi ukaongopa ndio utamkutana yeye macho kwa macho. Na wakati ameona hiyo pembe akasikia sauti kwamba una siraha za vita za roho. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a clap. Hey, James is receiving the prophecies. Man, I want you on my team, dude. I want you on my team. <laughs> Powerful. Um okay, go and take a seat. And woman of God, woman of God up front. You are amazing, you know that? Yes, ma'am, madam. I love your dress. Anapenda fasi lako. It's awesome. Ni ajabu inapendeza. Come up here. Panda hapa juu. We are going to bless mama. Naenda kubariki mama. Wave at me if you're not a chicken. Yaani utuje kama kama wewe sio kuko na roho ya mwewe. All right, we got some eagles in the house. Tuko na mwewe katika nyumba ya Bwana. Time. Thank wow. you. Wow. Mm. So I want you to ask God for either one word or an animal. Now keep in mind that God will show you a picture in your imagination. Wewe katika mawazo yako wakati anakuuliza hivi kuna ile picha ya kwanza ama sauti ya wewe utasikia katika moyo wako ama mawazo yako hiyo ndio sauti itakuwa sauti ya Mungu. And it often the picture that just comes out of nowhere. Na hiyo picha inapita tu. Or the thought that just comes from nowhere you weren't thinking about it. Ama wazo inakuja mara moja pop bila kufikiria. But as you exercise you learn to discern the voice of God. Lakini unapoendelea kufanya zoezi una uwezo wa kusikia sauti ya Mungu. We are in a safe place. Tuko mahali salama. No chickens in this house. Una kuku katika nyumba. Let's, let's ask God for a word for mama. Tulize Mungu neno kuhusu mama yetu.
I saw a bear. A leona bear. And um, it was a mama bear. Mama and bear kitty. And I feel like God wants to give you fresh confidence. Na kutakuwa na ujasiri that you have the ability and the anointing to mother many. Uko na uwezo na neema ya kuzaa watoto wengi. And even when some tradition has downgraded women. Na hata kama tamaduni zimezusha huduma ya wamama. Even when some family has not been supported. Hata kama familia wameachilia na wakushiliko. Jesus said let her know this is my mama bear and she has what it takes. Na anasema Yesu anasema huyu ni ni, ni dugu ya kike na ana chochote kinachohitajika kuzalisha watoto wake wa kiroho. Is that true? Yeye ni kweli. So listen ask Jesus. Muulize Yesu. Eagles time Say, Jesus give me a word for mama. Mambe Yesu nipe neno moja kuhusu mama huyu mtumishi wa Mungu. What animal is she like? What word of encouragement do you have? Ile neno Mungu ameka ndani yako nyoshe mkono haraka tu. Yes, Peter. Wow, you're so brave. What do you have? Neleva. Wow. Okay, explain. Mm. Oh wow just like the elephant is big animal and nothing can resist it on his way it makes a way where it wants to go through she has that ability to make way in impossible situations. Wow. Make clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Wonderful grace. Somebody with another, yes, the Dorcas, an eagle. Wow, explain. Wow. Wow. And I was, I'm going to come on my way. Unaweza ukiona kile unataka hata kama unazuiliwa na nini unaweza kwenda bila mwana anachukua hapo kwa haraka ule anataka hivyo ndio uwezo Mungu ameweka ndani yako kwa kiroho You see how this is touching her Dorcas Unaona vile inaguza maisha yake You see how the Holy Spirit is touching her with the other Unaona vile Roma alikuwa anaguza maisha yake You guys are the voice of Jesus Ni ni sauti ya Mungu Wow Yes All you had to do was ask. Never come to police at you. Sometimes the world will learn God's speech. Ipo ni boy wrong takatifu anapozungumzia. He is always talking. Wakati wote wrong takatifu anaongea. He wants to speak to you all the long. Anataka kuongea na wewe siku zote wakati wote. Amen. Amen. One more and then we will wrap this up. Ah mwingine mmoja alafu tutafunga. Kipindicho. Ask Jesus for a word for mama. Ulisa Mungu, ulisa Yesu neno moja kuhusu mama. Just say Jesus give me your love for mama. Mwambie Bwana, nipe neno, nipe neno ya upendo, nipe picha ya upendo kuhusu mama. Na ukikuja tu nyoshe mkono wako. Yes, mama. Oh. Hallelujah. Ako na uwezo wa kama nyoka kwamba anaweza jificha anguya pite haraku arudi tena atokeze na aendelee na mission yake ya maisha. Stretch your hands for mama. Tunyoshe mikono yetu tukimwelekea mama. Mama grab my hand. I want to ask you for forgiveness. Nataka nikuombe msamaha in the place of the family that hurt you. 
katika familia yenu kuna mali ulikosewa na moyo wako ukaumia sana. I'm so sorry for the rejection. Naomba msamaha kwa kukataliwa. I'm so sorry for the hatred. Naomba msamaha kwa vile ulikuwa. I hear Jesus saying you are innocent. Nasikia Yesu akisema wewe ulikuwa una makosa. I cut off the negative words. Na kuja kila neno ambalo ni kinyume. And I declare you released from that. Na nasikia kwa sababu wewe ulikuwa katikati yao. And I say it's time to fly like an eagle. Na ni wakati wa kupaa kama tai. You forgive usame. So Jesus right now we bless her family members. Na usiku tunabariki watu wa familia yenu. We bless those who have cursed her. Tunakuwabariki wale kukosea. And we declare this is her day of redemption. Na sikana siku ni siku ya ukombozi wako. And she is released to fly like never. Na ameachiliwa kapaye kama tai. Hallelujah. Amen. Give the Lord a better hand of praise. I praise the Lord for the move of God in the heart. I want everyone to stand up. Like kila mmoja sasa tusimame zote. Now like I told you the prophetic is like a muscle. Nikwambia ni kama misuri. If you do this exercise five times a day. Ukifanya ili zoezi mara tano kwa siku. And you tell me why I'm practicing hearing God's voice. Can I pray? Unamwambia wapi kwamba ninafanya zoezi ya kutambilia watu. That's how I grew. Hivyo ndivyo alivyokuwa. And that's how God will grow you. Ndipo ndivyo Mungu atakukusa katika unabii. Wait a minute if you will practice here in God's voice. Kama utajifunza, utafanya zoezi ya kusikia sauti ya Mungu. I see the spirit of God moving in this room like wind. Naona roho mtakatifu akitembea nyumba hii kama upepo. And he's bringing an upgrade of the prophetic to the town. Na naingia kiwango cha unabii katika nyumba hii. But listen, use it or lose it. Ili utumie ama upoteze. Use it or lose it. Uitumie ama upoteze. Heather, I'd like you to come up and just release just just release the, the fresh baptism, fresh upgrade whatever God gives you as a closing prayer for this house. Ila takuja hapa alafu atachilia neno la kina mbibi ya Roma takatifu atachilia ndani yake tunyoshe mikono mbele za Bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo